Moshi Moshi Miami Gamers and welcome back to Honkai Style Well. Today we are going to walk into the Clock Studio theme park. To better get his story across, Gallagher decided to make things fun by taking everyone to Clock Studio's theme park. Using the facilities there as tools, he will give you all the lessons on the history of Pentaconi. Everyone understands that you are exhausted, but they'll Oh, there's hope you won't doze off. So this is like some sort of Disneyland type of place. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Let's click over there. Oh, blue cookies up. Don't want the blues. They always go back. <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this. Even when they're tracking down suspects. Hmm. Um, it's, it's pretty impressive even from out here. Well, it's a masterpiece from the family after all. Besides the followers of the preservation, the family members are the best at creating mind-blowing marvels. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. Yeah, the view sure. here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, Omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him, so maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? He's like, why does it matter? I'm in my 30s. I'm 13. Huh? Uh, no way. Not even close. You don't look 13. Hanunu freed the frontier prison. But peace still... Nah, you don't look 13. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Asdana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penaconi finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penaconi. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No, I'm not his companion, but rather one of his many children but i am indeed a traitor not to the family but to mikhail what did you do <sighs> i did nothing and that's the worst betrayal of all just like you i had close companions we dedicated ourselves to Penaconi, but the oak family they set us up mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore so we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else, while well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penaconi. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog, the family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penaconi I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. 
Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker, and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Hmm. Is it the Watchmaker and organization? Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Mm. Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Okay, top to bottom. In that, the family isn't all united. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. And that death is related to the Watchmaker. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. And that Clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Speaking of which... That Clocky, who only reveals himself to you, is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Hmm, that's pretty much sums it up. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt, and see how things are going on his end. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Mr. Yang. We good? Mr. Yang, I think he has come to an end. How far is going to your end? Not too bad. The Galagerwood and I agree that the family might be hiding something screaming important. We are now heading to the Pavilion. Oh, come on, huh? Didn't the veteran say she was dangerous? I confirm that she is on our side. Don't worry, please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Okay, so we're going to his POV? Yep, to the pre-lady. Are your companions worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Wait, am I being both of them or just... Yeah, oh, come on. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, okay, I'm with her and Black Swan is hilarious. I'm gonna guess being here. It's almost like I've been before with Aventuring, but not really. I recognize that actually. I think we have actually. Oh, yeah. Actually, we did. We did. We're in. Oh, wow. We're in this house. We're in Sunny's house. Um, okay. God damn. I can't stop with the heels, you know. Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Hmm. This door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Hmm? I'll call and draw his blaze late when the moment her birth becomes impeccable. Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. Technique. 
Alright, uh, Delay's Explosion. Use Alcohol's technique to attack normal enemies with instant defeat them without entering combat. With no enemies, no ticket points are consumed. I mean, when we know this, I've done this before already. So, hey, you Three, two! Four. Yeah, fuck off, both of you! I don't need you both! That's kind of cheating, Alcohol. Come on, you enjoy them passing, don't you? How do you know I'm Statue Bobas? Okay, let's keep going forward. Open the door. The model in the sand pit. It's Ooh. the golden hour, isn't it? Big enemy. Maybe the heads of the family used that model for the footprints here are different from the rest. There are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Yeah, fuck off you two. Damn, that's Leo P. Wait, what's on the ground? Can you identify the people who left these footprints? Well, there's a unique pattern here. Flamboyant, even. And judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. If I'm right, it could be the IPC ambassador, Aventurine. He's here. He was here with, with Dr. Wachio. Aventurine. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. So the second individual is likely equal in status to a Venturine. The IPC is eager to reclaim Penaconi, so their presence here is not unexpected. Hmm, I mean, if they're still here, that'd be crazy. I'll like, wait a minute, what are you doing here? Uh, 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 we were just heal. No, that's probably. Oh, yes, there is. You're not looking, right? <gasps> Boom! <laughs> you saw nothing. There's an enemy right there. All oh, of those buddies. Hey, cute buddies. Wait, can we investigate? Was it down there? Enter the city. Can I? Oh, <gasps> I could. Um, is it safe? Can I do that? I don't think I'm supposed to be here, actually. I'm gonna go back. There isn't any block in my way. Hey, you well, big shit. people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Yep, try to find out. I'm gonna be his ass. You this is where it is. Yeah, this is bird. So apparently I can't do the slashes, so I'm gonna attack with the ear ability. Bleeding as the dawn's still destined for oblivion. That is so cool. You have been a march. Oh wow. My turn. I mean I don't think I've seen this before, so I'm gonna strike it. Oh no, I'm gonna give you a shield. Oh wait, no, Aqua needs it more than I do. What do you? I okay. wait for the departed. Domain expansion. Go for the middle. Check that one. Oh, all the attack. Never mind. Nah, hey, he's not both fucked. <laughs> I'll do that. Time for a shot. Aqua, you need this. All better now. Don't worry. It's just a scrape. Yeah. Just a scrape? No! This beautiful woman shouldn't get attacked like that. Like that! Yes, you're yeah. yeah, go much. You got this. Don't just scream me? Oh gosh, she's you gonna... Okay, she needs a shield. Give her a shield! Right there while I give you a present. Okay, we'll be okay. Here, it's all yours. Yeah, bless it away. Oh. Another journey begins. Take the E. The still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. I told you. Oh, I could look at that. Just bless this. Did you come here of your own? Swing. It's 24. Oh, that's a big damage. Not gonna lie, that one. E on that. Bless. Favor the bigger. Ooh, nice. Maybe big. I got a shield. That's not gonna hurt. Try that again. So you attacking more my waifus? You can't run. Gotta be careful. Another journey begins. Swing. Nice. Um. Who should you? Yeah, yourself. Just yourself. There you go. Oh, I was almost ready. Oh no. Damn, that's a big damage you're doing. What would you like to do? The seal of ill fate descends. Okay, uh, let's heal Aquan. Here comes the medicine. Don't worry, 
It's cute. I'm listening at them. You have the worst luck running into me. And do this. Me. Three, two, one. Gotta try hard sometimes. And then just do Check it. Check out this awesome move. You go, Marge. <laughs> oh, you're frozen. Memories are ever changing. You go, you go, choke them to death. Beneath the silent waters slides an endless abyss. Dominic Passion. Glass Chuck! That was so small damage, what the hell? I mean, that's not a little so. Domain expansion. Yeah, you go ahead. He's striking. Nice! That's amazing, that's beautiful. That is so good. Did you come here of your own volition? You're about to die. Goodbye. Destined for oblivion. Yeah, that's right. That's right, ladies. Look, it dropped something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are. There should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Hmm, like we don't know why. Uh, okay, let me go here. Oh, never mind, we're good. Let me just swing at that. Even this. Because I want some extra credits. Now we'll keep going forward. No one here either. This is just heal. Around to entertain us. Let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. This is just heal. Ooh, let me actually open this. Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. Yeah, no problem. Now yeah, look at this. That's glowing. You can't even do anything with that. Hold up, do they? <laughs> they do. Oh wow, there's a black swan. Okay, let's focus on these two first and then the middle one. Oh wow, all these readings I gotta go through? I'm not gonna read them actually. Information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities in them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Yeah, pretty much. This Next light one. Cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. According to Robin's interview, he was happy. despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah. Time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Hmm, that's pretty sad. I know it's doing cuts through the trailer, his head his was down while she was smiling and happy in that car one time. Like, why was that? Dear Oni-chan, how are you doing these days? I have intended to visit you at Dwelling really Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the appearance of the festival and your busy schedule, I will refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter complex I just share something within, with you immediately. Since my return to Pericordi, I have experienced a particular change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exogenous illness, but after consulting with doctors, they zoomed me of my perfect health and dismissed my concern. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced period of complete voice losses. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations. This is my ideal time of my worst so of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Pericate is not pure. A discord lurking within has changed my voice of harmony, which I believe to be a what cause of my vocal issue. I immediately realized that such level of intervention can only occur if either a powerful external voice is pulling strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further music has led me to a little conclusion. This is extremely alarming discovery. A child has this much within the family in Panacone, and it is highly likely that the person is one of the four family heads. I trust you employee, dear brother, please, because of your promise. With the Charmy Festival of the Horizon, I feel 
this person intended to employ in progress, or even use the festival in some mature movies. At any rate, I suggest you mentor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. There's another matter that requires our attention. During our investigation, I learned about the memory zone, meme death, and my further inquiry leads me to believe that the cobra who decided to it to cause the series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and am prepared to avail my hypothesis. Was assured you can just focus on the parable for the ceremony festival. Once I Thoroughly investigate death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the drinks cave all the time. Spend some time in reality when you're free. I brought some more species from our galaxies. Jimmy pudding toys from Mammalians, wild strawberries from Akiyawa, known for the exceptional size and sweetness, which I see you enjoy, and Almond Muggle Queen from Medical. Don't forget to enjoy them. May Zip be with us, your sister Robin. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Hmm, probably. Oh, look, I was right. These two are next. I'm gonna start with this lawn of powder paper. Oh boy, all this wind again. To Sunday, I have been informed about Wapner. I'd like to express my deepest concern. However, I must remind you that I am now holding vision of not only her elder brother, but also have had the Oak family. Your every action has a play for all the book of Pericone. As Pericone is going through the critical period, it is clear that you do not allow yourself hated to cloud your judgment, and by cautious not to engage in activities that others can use against you or leverage. I heard that you are planning to decide to dedicate a significant amount of time and whistles to find death. Such action does not serve the best interests of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to recognize to avoid potential impact from other family heads. While you, you are confident that death is connected to the washermaker, I have met with one major many times long before the dream. Master, I thought that you and your sister, and I never found any evidence looking him to that memory zone meme. Now that you are the head of the old family, it is still that you assist the citizens of Jersey and consider the biggest, bigger picture. It is unwise to associate all the Paracoy's resources and manpower for the sake of the personal vendetta, as this would bring disorder to the great one. The Cherry Festival is on the whole horizon, and the watchmaker guests are all barely hold back their own agenda. Neither you or nor I could face the severe consequences if Togo's arrives in delay. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotion and fulfill your responsibility as the head of the Oak family, focusing only on the festival and avoiding any influence from external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honor guests invited by the watchmaker, as misheading the matters could lead to discipline completed with other major factions, involving us in disputity that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you completed the godly of the decision of heading it up partially. As for the matter of Robin, there will have been be times to pursue it once the festival concluded, but then I provide you with the sacred resources and manpower in the name of the Affiliate Fire to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to continue yourself and with caution. Your sincerely, Old OT. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this Old OT is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. Mm, probably. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Okay, I went down first apparently, so... Paper apparently? Oh boy. I'm not gonna read all this, that's too long. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. 
This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Nope. Wait, these characteristics... What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. Mm. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. Uh -oh. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Mm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. While the truth is a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Now you did it, buddy. You changed him. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avgin extinction no event, yet. who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. Just Paul 6, but we'll... How come if this is the fourth planet? As per Strategic Investment Department had done oh, sentiments, yet. the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter, and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Okay, yeah, I'm focusing. What pretty eyes. Tell me. Do they shine in the dark? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. That was always your name? That's interesting. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult. But definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. 
It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. Thirty tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbas. I'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity, and then <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Okay. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. <sighs> my success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Will I encounter failure, never to return? Hmm. I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas, lowly gambler. <laughs> what? What you thinking? What? What? <laughs> Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Perhaps both. I've forgotten me already. You were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlords. Who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you. And perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? A grand 
Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. Is it 939 again? And I am that outcome. <clears throat> Sorry. Kakabasha, I am your future. <laughs> First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Why are there no guests here? What's that featherhead doing? Mm. Maybe what is this all do? Let's go. Just a papeshi? No. A child. I think that's you, buddy. Oh, that was sick. Maybe. <laughs> like this? What, I really? thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? <sighs> Ah, that's total that's definitely you, buddy. What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. <sighs> uh, <laughs> your eyes. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh not really. Mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are, are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Um, okay. And Mama Thunk... No, no, it... It can't... Mm. There aren't any Aptons left. Oh, there's probably some trouble here while going forward. Like, probably those two? Oh, those are new enemies blocking the way. I'm not doing that. No, no, no. I'm just gonna go past you two and just go this way. What is going on, though? Wait, no one map will create, though. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah, there's some areas that are not explored yet in this world. Papa, Mama, wait for me. What? <laughs> well, Leon, Panacone, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. <laughs> family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help, why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink served is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone, and relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen. Good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. No one, everyone thinks this way. Who would even suspect that it was another trap you meticulously devised? <laughs> Go on, tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. A tight, sober, cautious, massive inferiority complex. You've won so much, you're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight blush. They don't know the other hand is below the table. 
watching your chips for dear life. That's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience, you fool yourself too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation, and was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? War done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? You? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Yeah, the kill, no. Is it forward? Oh no, it's not that one. You can't open the door until. Okay, let's go this way. Oh boy, here comes the boy talking. I think the Ollie is stronger, the stronger the crisis, first prison priest, for the vision. Huh, interesting. Look what I'm into. <laughs> oh, okay. He's like, huh? Ah, playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. What? This even. I mean, okay. What is even going on here? Okay, we'll take that, activate this, we'll take to go that way, and this goes this way. No, just that way. And this one, it goes this way. Space boy! It's amazing. Oh, I don't feel so good. It was talking. That was so silent. Oh, there's enemies in there too. I don't want to deal with you. You two get walking. You too. I'm not going to attack, I'm not going to waste my time to find you guys. Catechins were like jackals hot on your heels. I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill. So you're still talking to me? The fuck? You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis. Plain dead. Drifting in all that bloody water. Completely ruined that shirt. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. <laughs> Come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunt. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be in. You should enjoy it. Hmm. Enjoy it? That child. Could he be in here? Hmm. He will. Yeah, this is all bird. Like, yank it off. Probably next one. Or not. Yeah, it is! I am a great villain to meet Boston. Do you only think? Do I look cool? If you want to defeat villain, you have to become an even greater villain. Goodbye! I am going to take my villain training chap. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Now, the enemy is looking around here apparently. I'm not gonna like it. Ooh, I'm not going that way. <laughs> Ooh, another boy. I see. Wait, it's three. Um, I mean, okay. It's number two. And a three. The beats be for the melody. Does think here that I'm feeling invisible? Do you think it's a little too slow? Jump! We don't. We don't. Why don't we make it faster with them? Don 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 don. Thank you for this punch. I help you go home not down quickly. Uh, music wise, like seriously, again, okay, not doing that. Oh yeah, there are some enemies here. I'm not gonna deal with you. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away from you. Like bye bye. I can find you guys if I wanted to. Now it's a child. Oh, oh there's chest here. Is this the stone? A topaz. Oh, what is this doing here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
one does your corner so wrench out of your heart, son. <sighs> I was merely curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. Put it on you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If you were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. <laughs> this is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was superb. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. You spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Pure one. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Ah, uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem Jade. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panic only, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. As I've said before, Three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. Okay. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. You smashed the Aventurine stone before you left? Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than his life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Clipon's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot-free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Now I see. 
now I'm really curious. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Hmm. Ugh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the heart. Hold on. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Not the enemy! Is this. Why does this catch up with the. Uh, like that child over there? Yeah, what up? What's going on? Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me... Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> I'm sure. Hmm, you think so? Oh, there's some aims going on though. Is that even good? Uh, okay. How much more life fast and furious? Okay. What, I'm doing this? Oh, it's just, okay, good. Click the flip buttons to dodge up with the tunnels. If you dodge right before you're about to crash your roadblock, you'll trigger turbo dash and experience a short period of instability. Energy that can be eliminated by triggering turbo dash and picking up supplies. When energy is full, you'll enter Nutty Bliss and experience a long period of instability. If feeling with is limited to moving mode, the bonus above below gives the feeling progress. Audience score will be eliminated by conducting turbo dash, picking up supplies, and slamming into opponents or obstacles while it could truly build. Trigger the events above as many times as you can to achieve the target of this score. Okay, Space Boy. So I gotta time this right. Okay, below. Ugh, above. I gotta watch it then, apparently. The what happened if I let them hit me? And. Nope. Ooh, can I hit them? I could. Hey, you fucked! You're dead! Hey, you want some too? Oh, never mind, you're dead. Okay, that one's dead. I gotta be careful. Oh, don't wanna miss some. And go up. And then go down. And then up. And be passed. That's okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna exit out. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> Make that fucker left! Boring. He's like, why don't you leave? The fuck, boy? Child, where did you go? Okay, my assumption is that he went this way. Wait, no, where is he? Which, which part of it? He's on that side, apparently? Yeah, I guess he is. Yeah, I'm gonna guess, yeah, he is. I mean, I could have escaped from different. <gasps> oh, different birds. I'll deal with that later. Why aren't you talking? You piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's a maze here next? I mean... Okay, I'll just do a maze next. Okay, we're gonna get to the right path, apparently. Okay, it goes left and right like that. Activate this. Okay, so it does that. Okay, um... It goes nowhere else. It's just that way. Activate. Space boy! Like, whee! Oh, this place, it's so tall, he 
He is one of the only the luck. Rocks in the... There are so many flowers here. Fix this. This one's for you. Hmm, this is probably enemies about heal. We just don't know. <laughs> but there's a chest heal. I'll take it. Yeah, thank you for the chest. Extra chest for this jelly way. Yay! Interesting. Now we're going down. I mean, please not an actual mace. A dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? This is, I don't think so, buddy. Investigate. It, is this? Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. Who made your first pot of gold? I remember it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze. Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Now shut the fuck up. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth at least 60 tonnes. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it. Because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing dare allow yourself is death in your hands those who follow you could have become joker cards <laughs> they're far more useful that way it's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners <laughs> could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing all it takes is a meager sacrifice i bet opal would have resolved this without a fuss a pity you're not him well you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program and why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? Did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? <sighs> That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? <laughs> Wait a minute, was this heal? What is open up for us? Hmm. <laughs> Seems very. Oh, twist. Hold up. <sighs> Back to break. Okay, let's start going this way just now. So, what's up now? A clue? <sighs> Twisting. Your expression right now is hard to put into words. The lucky charm on the left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Oh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you did it somehow. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You are a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to tisk. Tisk. A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! 
Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But whose exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then. Reserve a seat for me. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiatha's blessing? <sighs> nah, I'll be like, eh. So quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Feet in the deep. Or am I the one about to disappear? Hmm. I don't know. Damn mountains and mountains. Oh, Give it all to me. Finally, made it out of this place. We're going home, but I don't want to go back yet. Okay, we're sniffing from here. That'd be fun if I could. We start from where even we were born like that. Hmm. I mean, if it was me, I wouldn't pick that option. Blessing or not, aren't you gonna still gonna make it to the end? Is that how it's gonna be? Oh boy, there's a lot of cross and what? Oh, I can't do much. Okay, um, let me just close this down then. How am I get? Oh, I go to five. You serious? Okay, let me just shut this down real quick then. Hmm, voltage, voltage, voltage then. Okay, I'm closing. I'm closing the ones you don't need. Okay, can I just close this? Hmm, voltage. Okay. Okay, I'm going to four and three. I'm voting the ones that you have to rotate. Okay. If that's one. Hold up. That doesn't seem right. Oh wait a minute, can I do <gasps> No! Wait a minute. Hmm. Hold on guys. Hmm, there's like seven of these. Can I hmm, no, apparently there's none. Like, can I take this one for a different direction? Apparently not. So we'll take. If I will take this one, there's nothing on that side. Oof. What can I do? I'm just doing this. Damn. Like, can this like not aim at this direction at all? Can this just voltate away? Totally no. That's not the case. And then that's a two. It goes right there. Oh wait, look who I see. Maybe we'll take this south way. What if I sh oh wait a minute. If that's it, this can't be activated. What can I do? Like what if I shut down one of these? But apparently it's that's not it we need. So what if I shut this down? Apparently if that's the case. And then activate this one. Wow, okay, that's what we need to do. This is a lot of those. Like, okay. Like, oh my god, I took forever. It's so fun here. I want to stay here forever. Hold on. There's a puzzle piece over here I can do. Okay, this looks like it belongs to right here, and then it belongs to right here, and then this belongs right here, and this belongs. This is a second rotation. Yep, I was right about that. And then if this one belongs to this right here, and this belongs to right here, and this belongs to... Hey, look, there was a chest right here the whole time. That's hilarious. It looks empty, but it's not. Like, let me grab this. Amazing coat. Oh, buddy! Oh, I don't know there. I didn't see that. When I become a great director of Dreamsville, I will do make my first film for Brother Who Much Up. If you want to make a film with someone, sometimes, come and find me in the, at the Great Tree. The Great Tree where your master is? I mean, Joy. Okay, more Stella J. That's a lot of J's I'm collecting. 
and a walk <laughs> and the water sessions. Hmm, no idea. But no water. Huh, so I'm guess I'm going It's me? Wait, there's a chest behind that apparently. Hold up, there's a chest behind that. Hold up. Hey, can I open this? How can I do that? That's hilarious. Oh, yeah, there are enemies here. Wait, should I do a juke? Uh, uh, no, no, no! Only one place he can be going. Whether oh. it's in the past. Wait, what's this? Boston means when he spins true comedy, then he will get his human launcher. After taking aim at the enemy, hitting the fire button, will the hard walking and consume up motions. Enemies will drop ammo after being defeated. If one more will miss more enemies, more enemies will at once. If Bowhouse has no ammo left, you can turn to how launcher puts your lock the hard walk again and flash one ammo. Present or future. Ooh, I got some bazooka in my hand? Okay. Hey you, you look at me? Stop looking! You give! Give! If you use the hollow walking to ignite fireworks, you will trigger explosions to defeat enemies and in a capital of destroying walls. Destroy walls. I could hide if I wanted to. Can I oh I can't. Oh man! Wow, this game is oh wait a minute. Hold up. What's still here if I teleport? Why went around in circles for the chest? Yeah, thanks for that. Okay, I'm gonna get big apparently. Let me get big. Let me get big. I mean, I'll go one on one because I wanted to. But I'll be good. Mister, is that you? Oh, I hear the sound of leather shoes. Hold up. Oh yeah, I gotta be small again for this. No, there's that, that, and the one behind. So I'm gonna go back being small again. Uh, hold on. I got one already? Oh, I guess I could. I don't have to go small on that part. But anything else, I do gotta be small on this part. So, with this one, is over here. Collecting that one too. Oh, there we go. Whoa! Ouch! I'm at the other side, SLAs. <laughs> like nothing happened. Okay, I'm just gonna go past the enemy. I don't care if you're looking at me or not. Okay, fine, wait. Right. 100%. Oh, what, really, enemies? Really? Let me grab this. I am going to kill them. They are fucked. Just watch this. I'm going to strike at you. And boom! Yay! They're fucked. What if I try to kill the. Um, Clock enemy, that's right there. That's not. Once it doesn't look, I'm going to attack. I'm gonna wait till he turns around. Come on, turn around. Yeah, thank you for that. You're stupid. Oh, there was a chest behind it too? Oh, uh, what? Okay, if I didn't know earlier, then I will skip this. Hilarious. Now that's done. I'm going to get myself big just to go up there for the chest that's up there and then. Do the story because once this is done, I'm gonna stop it there. Oh, I want this. I want this first to be done so I can end this episode. Alright, oh, we got the puzzle piece. Hmm, this is very cool. Is that that one? Then it's this one. It'll be also this one. Oh, there's more the bomb too. Uh, this one. I'm gonna guess it's probably. Oh, this one too. Okay, this one is. Oh, I suppose it switches around then. Yep. Expected. Checking over the pieces. Over here. This one looks like it's small as this one. It's definitely one of these pieces. Yes, it is. This one too, and this one. Amazing. Recursive chest. Nice. Hmm. These items are interesting. Oh yeah, another area. <laughs> ah, it really is you. What do you want? Yes, child, it's me. I don't know why, Mister, but you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. 
It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Hmm. You're... going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark. And it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. <sighs> this amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, Mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they? He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? My, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before. But why you? Why? Must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain, someone you love, on the loss of dozens more. If these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? <sighs> Maybe... 
Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... It's best to die without regrets. <laughs> And now, only we are left. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Sure. Come on. A photo? I mean, hold on, child. I'm gonna get this. And a photo. <laughs> that looks very interesting. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh. You're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. What? So you're an actor? No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> I'm actually a... Enemies. But I do have a show to do. Oh, what? Let me... Oh, God, really? <sighs> Guess I'll come next, next time. Oh, damn. Um, maybe another bubble? The pain, yes? Oh, no. Not really? Okay, good. I don't want to deal with that bullshit. Side. Just doing this. Okay, we'll take this one. Nope. Okay. And this one. And... Nope. Okay. This one is that we do. It's a way up. Here's the second step. I'm just doing that just in case. He said, Does it have to be here? Like, is it... <gasps> just on that side. I'll play and this. And crack earth stem mode. Hmm. Yeah, we're in circles? No, I don't think so, actually. I mean, it kind of feels that way. Open the gates. Oh, we're doing circles. So, a stage, huh? What's going on? Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. Of course I know. Hmm, yeah. Now the silence. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. Catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge. Remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this ring, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Catechins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Catechins stand no chance against them will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the Catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? 
The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gyathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakafasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gyathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjim, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? Is it what? <laughs> Wait, is the fact gone? Bye. Go to go on stage? Wait, is the effects gone? Or is it still there? The harmony? Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. Okay, now... By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Hmm, wager, okay, back to me. Mr. Callus, are you there? I just wanted to know though that thanks to your suggestion, I am now dating the green wine bottle. If there's some time, please feel free to come and visit at the Arden Park. What? Is this Miss Acheron? Hello. I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Hmm. Uh, uh, clocky, nah. Hey, I'm still the silly part into it, Joel. None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and 
has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Wait, I am the bone of my bat. Stellaron is my body, and Trailblaze is my blood. You're talking weird again. No, I'm not. But it's a good vibe. Uh huh. Yes, no it is. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. Exactly, Mitch. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Yes! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen, the most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites them to Clock Studio Theme Park. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, mm -hmm. everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Okay, let's move out for another episode. I'm gonna unveil. Like, subscribe, I'll see you on the side, you know.